Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also Brink, and we are one. So today I want to talk about dongles on dongles. Now, I've done stuff like uh, the Anchor, where, you know, this uh, dongle hub, where I can essentially, you know, plug in my USBs, my uh, power, and my monitor so that I can, you know, watch play, do whatever I need to. I can do it. Well, I also have this little device for my NVMe drive that I can slap in there and get an extra 512 gigabytes of uh, fairly speedy um, memory. And it works pretty good in desktop mode. Now, I also have this USB drive, which works great in desktop mode. You might see a theme coming here. But before we get into what I really have right here, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Um, of course, you can wait until you can see, you know, what I have in my hand, which you might already guess from maybe a thumbnail or a title that I do. Um, this bad boy right here. Yeah, it's a little chunky because it has a little bit of something inside. So I have an NVMe drive in there. Um, the same one that I had in that other external enclosure. And now it works great in desktop mode. It works. It's supported. Um, the power delivery works with it. The US, uh, the HDMI works with it. I've plugged in multiple. This works great as a dock. It even has an SD card slot. And I'm going to recommend this, and I'll have this in the description below. In desktop mode. In game mode, it does not work. This is where none of this stuff works. So USB, in the sense of, like, memory-wise. The Steam Deck, from my knowledge... Only allow like the Steam Deck Steam OS game mode only allows for two different sources of memory the internal SSD or NVMe or the SD card slot. Those are the two. If you slapped on, I have this little thing right here that if you uh, slap an SD card into this one, it won't work. If you slap a USB drive into this thing and not just directly it won't work in the game mode. At least I can't get it to work. Um, maybe there's a workaround. I don't know. I can't get it to work. I'm sure there's going to be an update one day. I plugged it in. You can see there is no options for selecting that. And I've tried it by restarting and all those you know other things. It is accessing it. You can see that it's trying to access it with an LED. Um, and you go into settings. Once again, in settings, it in the storage, you know, doesn't, it's not there. It just has no, it's not mounted or has no options for it. So that's kind of a bummer if you're trying to look for different ways, especially for me, because I want to test additional games without having to buy additional SD cards when I have a ton of USBs right here. Now I could do it in desktop mode, but I honestly don't like gaming in desktop mode that much. I like prefer in game mode. Um, so that being said, do I recommend... Do I still recommend this dock? I do if you're going to be, if you want to try to play or do some additional things in desktop mode. So if you maybe want to use it for, you know, doing content creation, doing whatever you would do beyond, um, you know, let's say you're sitting at your desk, have a keyboard and mouse and your monitor hooked up to your Steam Deck and you wanted to add extra room for your Steam library, you could do it with this in desktop mode. Can't do it in game mode. So I recommend it for that type of stuff. You're and I bet you Steam is going to eventually allow for additional uh, storage options in the Steam OS, especially since they have a dock coming. I couldn't imagine them not supporting additional storage through that, like USB or whatnot. I, I couldn't imagine it, but once again, it's not like it has a built in, it's not like it, it's an enclosure, it doesn't have the ability to uh, store additional hard drives or NVMe drives or whatever it is in that dock, like the. Ian Odin stock does. So we'll see if they support it. I think they will with time. Um, Linux supports it. Their Arch flavor supports it. Steam OS in desktop mode supports it. Just game mode doesn't. So I couldn't imagine them. And there's probably some optimization or some type of weird thing that they're doing that they just haven't, you know, they didn't want to worry about it just quite yet. So with that, um, you can get this. So if you're going to get a dock, a dongle dock, a dongly dock, then you 
might as well get something like this. It's fu it's future proof for when they do support it. Um, and it does cost a little bit more, but it has most of the bells and whistles that this thing has. It works about the same from my tests as the Anchor. Um, it is a little bit pricier, but it comes with the NVMe drive. And it just it makes it so if you want to use this with your laptop, with your uh, computer, wherever you want, it just becomes, you know, one less thing you have to buy. It's just an additional thing that's that it has the ability. So I recommend this as the dong, uh, as your um, dock that you'd get from here on out until the official dock comes out. And then still, um, you still might want to get this. Uh, the biggest thing being, once again, uh, if SteamOS supports it. I couldn't imagine them, like I've said, couldn't imagine them not supporting something like this. But you never know. Who knows? Maybe two months down the road, uh, Valve is just like, Okay, we're done. We're done doing updates. This is good enough. We're going to just do uh, minor things from here on out. Nothing new. And this is not a new. This is not really a bug. It's, it would be a new feature supporting additional storage options. Um, I couldn't imagine them going that route. But who knows? Valve's Valve. They've dropped projects in a much more weird uh, manner. So, with that being said, it is a bummer. I, I and I'm sure that some people have already known about this. I've kind of known about this for a while. I just want. I really haven't sat down and really looked into it. Um, and I really wanted to see if I could get it to work and, uh, maybe there's, maybe there's ways, maybe there's hacks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. So with that, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of this? Are you a little bummed out? Um, do you know a trick to maybe make this work? I'd, I'd be happy. I haven't been able to get it to work yet. And honestly, like the SD card is good enough for me. Technically. Um, I just want the additional USB uh, storage support so that I can test additional games without having to, to swap my SD cards out and do whatever. Like it really comes down to testing because I'm I'm doing a lot of content on just different videos work, or uh, games working on the Steam Deck. If it wasn't for that, if I was just doing this like as my you know not doing it as a content creator, I wouldn't. I would just stick with the SD cards and just deal. Uh, to be honest, it's I have plenty of games on my SD cards and I've been enjoying them. So, um, but but. I got, I got to try more. I got to do more for the channel. So with that being said, comment, cut the comment section over. I just want to know what you think about this. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos. Check out the description below with some sources and with this uh, a reference to this that you could potentially get. So thank you guys once again. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Later.